Here I'm looking at our second exercise file in Bridge and I'm going to open it up in Photoshop by double clicking on it. There we go. And we learned a little bit uh, about layers in the last uh, exercise, but I'd like to take it just a little bit further and show you a different kind of layer. There is a, a layer called an adjustment layer and adjustments is another panel over here on the right in the center tab. If you're not seeing it, just go up into the Windows menu and make sure that adjustments is checked. And let's go through into the center one and choose this one called black and white. So this has added an adjustment layer. This little icon is the adjustment icon and this one is a mask for it and I'll explain that in a minute. So here on the adjustment I can pull up or down any range of colors in this black and white image so I think I'll pull up the yellows just a little bit and maybe the greens just a touch as well and then I'll collapse that panel. I can always get back to the properties panel by clicking on that or by double clicking this little icon in the adjustment layer and then I can readjust if I want. Uh, uh, that's the nice thing. These are non-destructive and you can go back and readjust them anytime that you want. The mask here, uh, which I've now selected because it's got the little box around it, is a special treat in Photoshop. In fact, it's probably one of the most powerful parts of Photoshop. We teach a lot about masks in the advanced section of Photoshop. But a mask allows you basically just to poke a hole in this adjustment layer by using black paint. So if I get my paintbrush and I have black paint chosen as my foreground color and if I make that big. Everywhere I paint, you see, has poked a hole in this mask and is allowing the color image underneath to show through. Conversely, if I switch over to white paint and paint, that plugs up the hole. Well, the advantage to that is it's extremely uh, flexible. You can go back if you made a mistake, you can go back and fix it by using just black or white paint. Now another thing that's kind of interesting, if I choose a gray rather than black or white and paint on it, it doesn't, it is kind of like a partial mask. Let's choose even a lighter shade of gray. And you can see what's happening there. So what we want to do with this is pick one of the fruits or vegetables and make it show color while the rest of the image is, is black and white. So I'm going to grab my zoom tool and zoom in to the uh, pepper here. I want the pepper. I'm going to hit D for my default colors and X to switch it so that black is on the top. B for my brush tool and I'll just paint a little bit and then I'm going to make my brush a little smaller where I can get around the edges. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you goof and and go outside the line, that's okay because you can switch to white paint and clean things up. So that is how to use a mask, which will be a very powerful feature for you. To finish this off, what you want to do is just go up, File, Save As, and then let's name this B0308 B 